Okay, this is Crossed Wands 3. It includes the training dummy, so if you want just the fight, check the description for timestamp or just fast forward. Because we're going to be doing both the training dummy and the fight. Hello, Lucan. I'd like to practice with the training dummy. Excellent idea. This time will be a bit more of a challenge. Ready? That would be brilliant. Wonderful. I'll set things up. Remember to cast all the spell combinations before the dummy lands again. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Now, I've noticed that if I spam R2 for basic casts, sometimes I feel like the count gets off. So if you're having that trouble, um, just slow down on how fast you s hit R2. On PlayStation, anyway. Summon and Incendio is a really good combo, especially when your Incendio is not up upgraded and can't go very far. Good one. Impressive wand work. I take to face you in a duel. Thanks, Lucan. You've been a great help. Oh, stop. Don't make me blush. Seriously, well done. Training dummies will think twice before challenging you again. Plus, you'll be even more formidable in crossed ones. Other duelists had better beware. Hello, Lucan. Is the final round of crossed ones ready? Big match today. It all comes down to this. The moment that we find out if your training and dedication is enough to win it all. Ready for a shot at glory? I certainly am. Brilliant. Are you dealing with a partner? Yes, Natty. Then let's get started. We can make this a real victory. That's the spirit. Okay, now I don't like lock on, so I, you won't see me doing lock on because it, I seem to have trouble shifting my target with using the right stick. Um, also, I won't be moving terribly a lot because I have a hard time with the right stick, switching from the right stick from running around to shield. I'm never fast enough. So we'll be sitting pretty much standing still for good portion of it, more or less. I mean, now I won't be completely stamped. But anyway. There goes my way. I have found Stupefy to be the best way to break through their shields, honestly. Especially when there's a lot of them. In this fight, because they're so, they just hang out together all the time, and it's really frustrating. <laughs> okay, and and your incendio is not very powerful, so you have to be really close to get him. Not what I meant to do at all. So do your best to not move around a whole lot, so that you can get on. many of them I get all overwhelmed and panicky and R1 does work here potato again I found stupefy to really be the easiest way to break their shields especially the red ones just because of how close you have to be in order to get 
in, or, in order to get the red incendio to break their shield, you have to be really, really close. Well, Whereas Stupefy, you don't have to be. So, you really need to use shield if you want to make it through. If you don't really use shield, you're going to have a bad day. I had a very bad day until I figured out how to use shield. <laughs> you really need to use shield. I'm and Stupefy. As well as I did. And to get through this. Such a gracious champion. Now, to the victor goes the prize! And so it is my great honor to present you with this simple yet elegant token of supreme dueling accomplishment. Thank you. It's been an honor. You earned it. You are a duelist to be reckoned with. Now that we've definitively... I have no idea what the prize winner, is. I've I done this to get back championship to my like four times. I wonder how my herbology plants are doing. I have I no idea what prize ages. I just got. There it is. Championship garb. I never noticed that before. I just kept seeing it. There's always so much on the screen.